I'm so glad that you're here on our learning adventure. You will not believe where we are. We are at a town fair and there is food, there are rides, and I have a very extra special guest with me to go on this learning adventure who has never been at a town fair before and is super excited and super cute. So everyone, let me introduce you to Maya. Maya, where are you? <laughs> Hi, Maya. I'm so happy that you're here. Are you excited? Yeah. <gasps> Have you ever been to a town fair before? No. Well, you are now, right? Yeah. And there's lots of people here, and there's lots of food and rides. Are you ready to go and explore with me? Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, let's go. <gasps> That's a Ferris wheel. You like those too? Yeah. Here, let's, you want to see this? She likes this one too. She's adventurous. Woo, you are brave. So look, they have this fun one. This is a slide one. You have to climb all the way up to the tippy top with your, with a mat. And then when you get on top, you sit on it and you slide down. That one looked fun. Okay, you did so awesome on that slide. What ride do you want to go on now? The Ferris wheel. The Ferris wheel? Yeah. Out of all the other rides, that's the one you want to go on? Yeah. Guess what? Yeah. You're going to make me go on an adventure that I don't always choose to go on because that one gets me a little nervous. But I am very inspired by how brave you are and you smile through it all. So are you going to help me be brave? Okay, you promise? Yeah! Okay, you gotta hold my hand though. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Oh no, oh no, you're tall enough! Yay! too little to help someone else. You're being kind, right? Like so when people get hurt at my school, I tell a teacher. You do? You help take care of your friends? That's how you get um, I um, help them up. But not on the property or they play in the nature. Oh, so you help them if 
they get hurt. That's very I kind. Help me, I, help them. I like that. That's a good thing, right? Yeah. We're coming oh. back in. So, what do you think? Are bears happy? Fun places yeah. to go? Yeah. Are you going to come back again? Yeah. yeah. I was going on an elephant. Um, We are so excited. We have a special story to introduce to you that Maya brought because it touches your heart, you said, right? Yeah. It's a special story. Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell them what it is? Yeah. It's Hello Goodbye Window. <gasps> yes, and it was written by Norton Jester and Chris Rashka. That's a hard name to say, right? but they won all kinds of awards for this special story that they brought. And Maya was telling me a little bit about it that it, what kind of feeling does it make you have when you hear, read this story? Happy. You're happy, right? Yeah, because it reminds me of my grandpa and grandma. Yeah, your grandpa and grandma, do they mean a lot to you? Oh, well, I can't wait to find out why and how this story makes you feel so happy. And are you ready to read it? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to show everybody your special story. You're okay with that, right? Okay, That's so I'm going to hold it up and I'm going to show everyone all the pictures. Okay. Yeah, it says, the Hello Goodbye Window. Oh, here we go. Now, do you say Nana or Nana? I say Grandpa. You do, right? In the story, it says Nana. Nana and Poppy lived in a big house in the middle of town. There's a brick path that goes to the back porch, but before you get there, you pass right by the kitchen window. That's the hello goodbye window. It looks like a regular window, but it's not. Oh, this is where it gets exciting, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. This is a beautiful picture. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure everyone thinks it is too. The kitchen is where Nana and Poppy are most of the time, right? Yeah! So you can climb up on the flower barrel and tap the window, then duck down and they won't know who did it. Or you can press your face against the glass and frighten them. <gasps> oh! And if they're not in the kitchen, you can't do any of those things and you have to wait until next time. If they see you first, uh-oh, what happens? Oh, they wave and they make silly faces? I'm gonna make one. <laughs> what do you think? Can you do one? Uh, oh my goodness, you were made for this story. Sometimes Nana peekaboos me, which always makes me laugh. So I get a lot of extra fun and hellos before I even get inside. Oh, so the excitement's starting outside before you even get in? Yeah, that happens to me. That happens to you? It's like a special thing. Oh, that's such a nice connection. Just look at the kitchen. It's so big. It has a table you can color on and lots of drawers to take stuff out of and play with. Kind of like your backpack. I think you told me you brought toys in there, right? Ooh, okay, I like that idea. But you can't touch anything under the sink. Oh no, that's off limits. Uh, that looks like your dog. Kind of like it is my dog. You've got, you're good. That's a dog. Yeah. Uh-oh, you can't touch anything under the sink. That's right. 
Good, I'm glad you don't because you could get very sick, it says. And there are shelves full of glass jars with lots of everything in them. A step stool so I can wash my hands and all kinds of pictures from the olden days. Oh my goodness, those are such good rules. Your mom is so super smart. Do you know why they have those rules? To keep you, what's the word? Safe. Yeah, to keep you safe and keep you, here, put your legs so you don't fall off backwards because then I'd be in trouble with your mom and your, and your aunt and everybody. I'd be in big trouble. Okay, so you know what happens here in this story? This is where things start to happen. The olden days, yeah, you have olden days too when you were real little, right? Because you're so big now. <laughs> well, Nana says she even used to give me a bath in the sink. Did she do that to you? Give you a bath in the sink? When I was like a baby, didn't my mom that? I know, isn't that funny? Now you're too big. So, really? <laughs> well, don't worry. We'll get to visit with the dog and go on the rides too. But first we have to say goodbye to this book. But we just said hello to this book, so let's finish. So sometimes Poppy plays his harmonica for me. He can only play one song. Oh, Susanna, is that the song? But he can play it a lot of different ways. He can play it slow and fast or he can play it sitting down or standing up. Wow, he's pretty good. He says he can even play it and drink a glass of water at the same time, but I've never seen him do that. Have you seen him do that? No. Yeah, we don't ever get to see that part. That must be a really crazy, talented poppy. When I stay over, we have our supper in the kitchen too. And when it's dark outside, we can look at our reflections in the window. It just works like a mirror. Except it's not in the bathroom. It looks like we're outside looking in. Poppy says, what are you doing out there? You come right in and have your dinner. And I say, but I'm here with you, Poppy. And then he looks at me in his funny way, like this. I don't know, what do you think? Let's see. Oh, he has a much funnier face, doesn't he? That's a funny one. Just before I go to bed, Nana turns off all the lights and we stand by the window and say goodnight to the stars. Do you know how many stars there are? No, that's like a lot. <laughs> There's too many for me to count and my head's getting a little tired. Probably 25. 25? That's a big guess. Uh, hmm. Or 172. Now that's a big number. Yeah, you're right. Well, neither do I, but she knows them all. In the morning, the first place we go is back to the kitchen. And there's the window waiting for us. You can look out and say, what? Good, mo good morning to the garden or see if it's going to be rainy or nice. It looks a little rainy up here, doesn't it? Oh, I know, you're getting excited with the rides, right? Well, first we're gonna say hello and goodbye. And you can see if the dog next door is doing stuff in Nana's, <gasps> in the flowers bed. Oh, she hates that. Sometimes Poppy says in a real loud voice, hello world, what have you got for us today? Wow, Poppy's really bold. I don't know if I would be asking that question. Sometimes the world is a little crazy, right? Yeah, kind of like this one, but it's a fun thing. Nobody even answers, and he doesn't care. He's a fun Poppy, right? Poppy makes breakfast. He says it's his specialty. Do you think that's your Poppy's specialty? Or your grandpa's specialty? Does he do make good breakfasts? Oh, I love that. My favorite is oatmeal with bananas and raisins that you can't see because he hot. He hides them deep inside? Oh my goodness, but I find them all. You found them? Can't hide anything from you. When I get dressed, I help not, you help, this book, they help 
In the garden? And um, the, the grandma thinks there's a tiger in the What? There's tigers in the garden? No. Oh. She's oh, she's just pretending? There's like, a, it's just a black and white cat. Oh. You got me nervous. It says, it's a very nice garden, but there's a tiger who lives behind the big bush in the back. So I don't ever go there. But you said it's just a cat, right? So it's safe? Okay, good. This book got me nervous. I don't want anybody getting hurt. I ride my bike too. Not in the street, please. Or collect sticks and acorns. Not in the house, please. Or just kick my ball around. Sometimes when it's hot, Poppy chases me with a hose and I yell, stop it, Poppy, stop it. And when he does, I ask him do it to do it again. And Nana just shakes her head. Those silly kids. I know, but he thinks he's acting like a kid, right? He's chasing her with the hose. When I get tired, I come in and I take my nap and nothing happens until I get up. Oh, uh, you think so? Maybe they're taking a nap too. They probably got tired out. Then sometimes I just sit by the hello goodbye, goodbye window and watch. Nana says it's a magic window. And nobody can come along when you least expect it. You can see that. Whoa, you didn't tell me there were big words in here. How do you say that word? The king of the dinosaurs are the T-Rex. Yeah, the T-Rex, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Whew, we did it. You didn't let me practice beforehand, but we did it, right? Okay, he's extinct, so he doesn't come around that much. Mm. The pizza delivery guy. Pepperoni and cheese, he knows that's my favorite. The Queen of England. Na and Nana is English, you know, so the Queen likes to come for tea. Oh, I didn't know. They all come over, and a lot more if they want. And if they do, I'll see them first. Mommy and Daddy pick me up after work. I'm glad because I know we're going home. But it makes me sad too because I have to leave Nana and Poppy. You can be happy and sad at the same time, you know. Yeah, and like feeling sad and happy. That's right, and you can feel both things because one thing makes you happy, but it's kind of sad, and that's okay, right? It just happens that way sometimes. When we leave, we always stop at the window to blow kisses goodbye. Like what, how does that look when you do that? Like that, or you give a big wave? Yeah. When you look from the outside, Nana and Poppy's house has a lot of windows, but there's only one. Hello, goodbye window. And it's right where you need it. Oh my goodness. When I get my own house, oh, you're gonna have your own house someday? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to have a special hello, goodbye, goodbye window, window too. Yeah. By that time, I might be a Nana myself. I don't know who the poppy will be, but I hope he can play the oh. harmonica. Oh, this was such a sweet story. So you said that you understood those feelings because this book makes you feel happy. It does make you feel happy, right? But how do you feel? Do you feel sad and happy when you have to leave? Yeah. Yeah, but you get to see them again, right? And then you get to have new adventures and fun times with them. What's your favorite thing that you get to do? And I know you said you have Two, two different. I have two grandmas and two grandpas. Wow, how special is that? You know, not many people have that. So what's something that you like to do with your grandma and grandpa? Either uh, one of them. Ride my special Jeep around. You have a Jeep? I said toy Jeep. Oh, I was gonna ask you if you had your license. 
to drive, but yeah, it's just a. Cousin. Oh, ah, that's a fun. That's your brother, right? <laughs> Do you ride him around? Yeah, I go on five. I'm going number one is backwards and two is slow and five is really fast. That's really fast? You like to go really fast? Yeah, with my little brother. Oh boy. Brother. Okay, well watch out, world, because Maya likes to go fast in that toy jeep, right? Oh yeah. Do you play the music too? You got some tunes on? It doesn't. No, it doesn't have batteries. a radio. Oh, it has to have batteries. Well, but that's okay. But you have fun with them? Yeah. Yeah. Aw. Well, I can't believe all that we got in today. We read a story. What was it called? Hello, goodbye window. And it's a thumbs up book because it made just feel so good right it made us think of memories that we've had and did you see all the rides that we went on Woo! and guess what you were so brave and so kind that she helped me go on my own adventure what ride did you take me on a ferris wheel a ferris wheel Woo! i don't like heights but you inspired me to be brave. And I want to say thank you so much for coming on this adventure with me. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Do you want to come back and do more? <gasps> yes. Hey, everybody, make sure that you keep coming back. What should we tell them to do? Like and subscribe. Bye. And keep coming back and going on these fun learning adventures. Have a great week. Bye, everybody.